I'm here today with Kevin Creary from Healthy Kids who have just announced their virtual sports day. Kevin, thanks very much for joining us here today. You're very welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about um, Healthy Kids and the type of work that you would have done before this COVID-19 situation happened? Yeah, well, I'm a primary school teacher, Tristan, and a PE coordinator. And um, in 2014, we um, piloted the Healthy Kids program in, in my own primary school to 86 primary six students, as it was then. Um, and the program was built essentially to get all our children, our school children, active, fit and healthy. Um, as a PE coordinator, I would have been bringing in your traditional sporting um, bodies into the schools. So it would have been your, your soccer, your rugby, your GA. But what I noticed as a PE coordinator, Tristan, was that as soon as the sports equipment came out, a lot of our kids became slightly disengaged. And, you know, not all kids are interested in sport, as we know. So we decided to write a program that was going to be all inclusive. It was going to be um, for all children to take part in. And most importantly, it was fun. So that program, as I said, started off in 2014. And then our neighbouring schools asked questions about it. And it's now been rolled into about 120 schools at the minute. Um, and we've about over 10,000 kids a week going through it. So we would have been in our schools up until COVID-19 and the, the period of lockdown. And it isn't just um, sports and fitness, it's also uh, nutrition and kind of general health that you're interested in? Yeah, well, I mean, we knew that probably, Tristan, that if we brought a coach in for 30 minutes a week, it wasn't going to deal with those problems that were, that were facing the kids' levels of inactivity and the health crisis that we were certainly facing. So we knew that we needed more than 30 minutes. So we incorporated a lot more strands into the programme, so we would have we looked at, we incorporated the Daily Mile, which we call the Golden Mile, a very managed running program for kids. Um, we have a proactive after-school program as well. We have 10,000 kids going through activity of choice. But more importantly, we, we created an app, and that's basically the virtual sports day has been run through our app at the minute. Um, and we have added in a NET program, which is Nutrition, Eyes and Teeth. And most importantly in today's society, as I'm sure you, you'll agree, we have introduced an emotional well-being and there's a mental health as well. So we're looking at the holistic child, we're looking at the holistic development, and what we have created is a health programme for schools, essentially. And you mentioned the, the virtual sports day, um, which is why we're talking to you today. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so look, I mean, I'm sure you're aware there's 350 million kids can't go to school at the minute worldwide. So. Um, term three is synonymous with sports day, it's synonymous with that annual event and because it couldn't take place um, physically in school we decided to create a virtual sports day and we got in partnership with the Henderson Group, SPAR, Vivo, um, Eurospar and they kindly said that they would help us get to 300 schools with that um, and within 48 hours we we'll had to go back to SPAR and tell them that there's 500 schools registered and this is we at the minute we have 11,000 children registered for it so it's been a fantastic uptake. I suppose the premise of the Virtual Sports Day is that we want kids, um, we created a home learning pack or a home pack, a digital resource. And on that, we created eight events and the events would be your traditional egg and spoon, sprint, but the things that you could do. So rather than do them with your PE coordinator or a teacher in school, we could do them, the children could take part with their family at home in their back garden or in a shared space. And then the practice, they share that with their school community by sending in little videos of them doing it. We had to connect with the, the school and then culminating on the sports day on June the 13th for everyone to take part in at home. Yeah, and so people are in training then at the minute and you've got kind of different uh, events that people will be training for every week up until the 13th of June? Yeah, well, Paul, our Director of Coaching, has actually just put on the, under all our social media today with Sammy Spar. He's the little mascot. And Sammy Spar and Paul have been doing the two exercises this week or the two wee training drills for, that the children can concentrate on and then they'll be going through that this week and then yeah they record it, they record all their activities on their sports on the Healthy Kids app and the, the app then, there's a facility on the app for teachers to um, have their own access to their own classroom and they'll be able to observe what the, teacher, what the children are doing through that app as well. Yeah, and on the app, if I'm right, there, there's also things about nutrition and things like that there on there, and and there's a, there's a 20 day streak that people are aiming for as well. Yeah, our app does have lots of uh, things that you can do on it. I mean, this one's a sports day preparation, but 
during the global challenge that we had um, done, we had 35,000 activities recorded in four weeks, which is brilliant. And believe it or not, the biggest activity was washing your hands, which was great. That was <laughs> one of the activities that we had on it. Yeah, we, we're trying to create, as I said, the holistic health of children. And you've got access to put in brushing your teeth at night, making sure you get a full night's rest, staying off those devices that the children are all on now, um, and as well as the sports day. So there's lots of things to input in your app, yeah. And I guess this is all because the kids, like you say, are going to miss out on, on this year's sports day, uh, most likely. I think it's also about encouraging kids that wouldn't necessarily be sporty kids, for want of a better phrase, and the, and the kids that would be kind of forced into doing sports and exercise in school. They might not be doing that type of thing at home. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, the sports day of preparation, that's why we created eight events. And the eight events range from your sporty ones to your novelty ones, um, the ones that children would really enjoy. And there's no reason why kids and families can't be creative and, and come up with something themselves to, to partake in as well. But then the children will only choose five of those. So if running's not your thing, if if um, you know long jumping is not your thing, well then choose an activity that you want to do and, and have some practice with it and then take part on your sports day on June the 13th, yeah. And there's something about that kind of competitive uh, nature of it all as well that kind of keeps people uh, motivated. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and that's one thing that we are able to do. I mean, for the, those children that really are into the comp competition, we have, at the minute, as I say, we have 500 schools in Northern Ireland. We will be able to provide the schools with the data of what the children are actually doing. And that data will show how active your school children are, how active the children in your school are. And if you want to use it as comparable to other schools, but that facility is there. But again, this is more about fun and about participation and, and providing an outlet that, that's been that's been taken away this year through the COVID-19. Yeah, how important do you think it is just to encourage kids to kind of stay healthy, to stay fit? And I imagine there's a lot of kids that are, are stuck in small apartments or, or, or stuck in places that, would, that just have small gardens. Um, what's your kind of advice to them? Well, I mean, looking around, Tristan, I mean, I'm sure like, like me, you go to the shops and you get out and you go and you do your walk. And I, I, I don't know whether you've noticed this or not, but I feel as if the children have nearly been forgotten in all this. I mean, the children don't come to the shops with us, for example, because you're not allowed in, well, really with two or three at a time. And I do wonder where, what, the children, what the children are actually doing. Um, and you would imagine that their devices, they're playing on their devices, and, they're, and, and one way that's good because they can communicate with each other and they can stay in touch with their friends. But it is equally important that they are getting out and getting lots of um, getting lots of exercise, lots of movement, and lots of activity. And there's simple things like going out for a walk. You know, they're going into an area of a shared space. If you do live in an area that you don't have your own back garden, there still is some area where you can go to and you can walk around. It's basically, my advice is get out into the fresh air and get as much air as you can get. And this all comes um, off the back of the Global Challenge that's just finished as well? Yeah, absolutely. The Global Challenge was an event that we did that we, at the very start. It was like a host phase one of trying to keep the children and stay engaged with the schools and stay engaged with the school children. And we had schools signed up from all around the world for that as well. And during that time, we had lots of resources on our, on our YouTube pages and that they're still there. And they will act as some great advice and some great tips that, that participants now in the virtual sports day, if you can refer to our, our YouTube channel, you'll get lots of great ideas and tips on how to stay active. So where can you sign up? Okay, so um, everyone can sign up at our website, www.healthy-kids.com. And um, there's a landing page there that'll take you straight to it. Um, it's open to all ages. It's open for everyone to take part. and. Although we had put a deadline in of uh, Monday the 11th at 6 p.m., we realised that schools are now um, showing more interest than we thought. So it's not too late to sign up. You can come along, you can sign up, and I would say if you can get involved by the end of this week, you'll definitely be more than welcome to take part. Well, Kevin, thanks very much for your time and good luck with the event. Thank you, Tristan.